once the data set BMD underscore drug um, is imported into Stata, we now want to uh, create a table describing several baseline characteristics of the patients, in particular age, BMI, total bone mineral density in both the hip and spine, the fracture medication and waiting time. But we want to describe these variables by the variable uh, sex. Um, so starting with continuous variables, we will have to look at the distribution of these variables and decide which, uh, which are the best summary measures that we want to use. Basically, if the distribution is uh, um, approximately symmetric, we are going to choose mean and standard deviation. If the distribution is asymmetric, um, typically with long tails, we are going to uh, prefer to use the median and two percentiles, for example, the percentile 25 and percentile 75. Okay, so but let's start then by looking at the distribution of some continuous variables. For the sake of time, I'm not going to uh, do this for all the variables because the procedure is going to be very similar. But let's start by looking at the variable age. So we're going to create an histogram for the variable age. And uh, we can see that age is approximately symmetrically distributed. So the mean as a central tendency measure and standard deviation will be a good summary measures for this variable. Now let's look at the histogram for the variable uh, waiting time. Because I suspect that this one is going to have a very skewed distribution. So waiting time. And here we, we are, we have a, a long tail to the right. So the mean is going to be pulled to the right, uh, given this, this uh, tail of the distribution. So in this situation, uh, it's, better, it's best to, to describe the, this, this variable using the mean, median and uh, uh, two percentiles. And I'm going to choose the, the, the first and third quartile, or the percentile 25 and percentile 75. Okay. So if you do this uh, for uh, BMI and for the BMD, you're going to see uh, that the distribution of those variables is also normal. An alternative plot to the histogram um, that allows you to, uh, to check the type of distribution that you have, in particular to compare the distribution, the empirical distribution of the, the, the variable with the, the normal distribution, is to use the distributional graph and then normal probability plot standardize. So what is this going is going to do is to compare the the distribution of the variable that you choose, let's say BMD total hip um, with the normal distribution. And if the distribution coincides with the normal distribution, the, these dots, they have many dots here, but all this uh, bold line uh, is really an accumulation of, of dots, it should fall in under this diagonal. Um, if uh, the distribution is not normal, like the waiting time, you're going to see that the dots are going to uh, be, be separated from the, the line. So if I repeat these graphics, distributional graph, normal probability plot, and now I select waiting time. You see the, 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 the distribution given by the bold line, it's really far away from the, the diagonal that corresponds to the normal distribution. Okay, so in summary, we're going to use for the continuous variables mean and standard deviation except for the waiting time where we're going to use um, the median and interquartile or the, the percentile of 25 and 75. So let's ask those statistics. I'm going to use the command. There are several ways of doing this. I'm going to, to use these other tables and then compact table of summary statistics. I'm going to reset. There was something there already. And I'm going to then select the variables age, 
BMI. If you don't have the variable BMI, uh, you can see in another video how, ex how to create the, this variable using the height and, and weight. BMD hip, BMD spine, and for these variables I'm going to select the mean and the standard deviation. And I want also this summary statistics by the variable sex. So this group statistics by variable is going to give me the statistics by variable sex. Okay. And here we are. So the average uh, age of women is about 61 years old with a standard deviation of 9. Men are slightly uh, older. So you have the, the means and standard deviations for both sexes and you also have the, the means and standard deviations for the entire uh, group okay, given by this total. You can now use a similar command to get the median and the percentile 25 and 75 for the waiting time. So I'm going to other tables compact table of summary statistics. I'm going to reset and now select the variable waiting time by sex and statistics are going to be the median and then percentile 25 and percentile 75 okay and again we have the mean the median and the uh, percentiles for uh, the variable waiting time we now need to, the summary statistics for the categorical variables fracture and uh, medication and for this we need the tables the the tables uh, we need the cross tabulation of these variables with the variable sex to obtain the the frequency and the percentages so I'm going to use in the same summary uh, summary tables and test, but now in the frequency frequency tables, the two weight tables with measures of association. And I'm going to ask in the rows the sex to match the other tables and the columns. I'm going to ask for fracture. Um, and this will give me um, the frequencies. And now we want to select also a, a percentage um, of relevance. So I want the distribution of the, the fracture within each sex. So I'm going to ask for the within row relative fre frequency. Okay. So here we are with the, the the distribution of the, the variable fracture by sex. So I have a total of 560 women in the data set. 95.5% uh, of them did not have a fracture. And the, the percentage of no fractures in men is also similar, 95.2 in this case, slightly uh, less. Okay, so I could do the same thing for uh, the other variable, uh, medication get exactly the same frequencies and uh, the, the percentages. And now I could use uh, all this information to build my table. So I've created already a table uh, in Word um, with, total, with a total column. So I would add here the mean uh, age for, uh, for the entire group and then by male and female. Um, you can see down here for waiting time, instead of using the mean and standard deviation, I'm using the median and quartile, uh, inter, uh, quartile range, or in other words, percentile 25 and 75, and then for the categorical variables, the n and the percentage. Okay, I've added um, a last column with the p-value, um, where uh, I could add uh, the, 
the result of the, the, the association between sex and each one of these variables. We might see this in another video.